Hi, I'm Natalie and I'm the captain of the development team. Um, the responsibilities that I have as a captain here is just to get around the girls, set a good example and make sure everyone's having a good time. Um, I think growing up with two brothers, I was always interested in um, sports and, you know, tackling and being rough with them and they kind of like helped me learn how to kick a ball and um, that kind of transferred into when I was in school, um, always kicking the ball with my friends, played school footy and that led me to wanting to join a club after high school. Um, first time that I walked into Coburg, um, I could already feel how great the atmosphere is. Um, I could already see that all the girls were there for, you know, a purpose to, you know, improve and get better and everybody was, you know, so welcoming. I remember the first time that I walked in, I was like, what do I do? Where do I go? And I kind of locked eyes with um, Darcia Darts, um, who's one of our senior girls, and she introduced me to a few of the other girls and had a kick and I really just felt welcome instantly. Where would I be without footy? Probably just like hitting the gym 24-7, <laughs> trying to get, you know, all that frustration out from, you know, like work and like everything else out through exercise. Um, but it definitely wouldn't have been as good as it is with out footy because you know it wouldn't have that social aspect you wouldn't have that second family around the footy club like you do here um, the club's important to me because I guess being here makes me really happy and it's the only thing that you know like besides from like your family or your friends it's the only thing that I really do for myself um, coming to footy and you know besides from game day coming to training you know after work on a Monday and Wednesday is the highlight of my week so Natalie why do you think you were chosen for development camp I don't know. I was really shocked to be chosen as captain because it was my first year playing and we had so many other girls who, you know, I put my vote down for who I thought would be amazing captains and it didn't really cross my mind that I would be considered for it. I guess I do have leadership um, experience back at my old club being captain of Mernda for a few years. So I think that that was, I guess, picked up by my peers without me even realising it was. Um, and I'm just really pleased that I got chosen for it. So far, I feel like the development team is doing great. We're just kind of having fun every week. We're getting some wins, a couple losses as well, which is, I guess, what you kind of need for growth. Um, and we're all around just having a really fun time. The relationship between the seniors and the development side is kind of like there is, there's no difference between us because we're all part of the same team. You know, we all train together um, and we're all there to support each other on game day. And, you know, girls go up and down, so we all respect each other and just feels like one big family. I think what makes a good leader is someone who's really present and someone who is just, I guess, looking out for everyone and making sure that everyone's comfortable um, and that everyone, you know, is comfortable enough to speak out about things that are going on and someone that people can trust. Um, the kind of leader that I always try to be is someone who puts in 100% effort and someone who leads by example in terms of, you know, how much I'm putting out there for my teammates as well. Um, so even if, you know, I'm having a bad day and not really feeling like, you know, putting 100% into a training session, just looking around at the girls and trying to motivate them and lift them up, lift my voice up as well, um, that's kind of what I try to bring to it. Oh, the club has such a big impact on young girls. Um, I just think that, you know, if I was, you know, eight or 10 years old looking up and seeing this right now, I would just be so inspired and be so excited for, you know, what I could do when I was, you know, playing senior footy and if I had that when I was eight or ten you know like that would, would have just been amazing. In your leadership role what is the most important thing to you? Um, the most important thing is that everyone feels like they belong and everybody's happy that's all that really matters to me.